Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about Infinity War Issue 2. Basically in this issue, the shit hits the fan. We get an all-out war between all of our favorite heroes. So in the first issue, we had the return of Magus and that we had a series of doppelgangers attacking key heroes to try to take them down and replace them. And now we have Reed Richards who has called on all of Earth's mightiest heroes just in case, not only East Coast and West Coast Avengers, we have X-Men there, X-Factor, Alpha Flight, New Warriors. To inform them that they have to devise a plan to stop this reality level threat that Magus is. Actually, they don't know it's Magus yet, but they know that something really big is going to go down. And it's tied to these doppelgangers that have been on attack. You know, rereading the story... It would have been really cool that during the Thanos Imperative, when they were dealing with the Cancerverse, they would have established retroactively that the Doppelgangers came from that particular universe. Because they have that Cancerverse vibe to them. While all this is going down, we have Thanos, who's trying to convince Adam Warlock and the Infinity Watch that they have to work together. That Magus is a tremendous threat, and this warrants them working together. And also try to find out how Magus is back to life. He shouldn't exist anymore. So to find out, the Infinity Watch and Thanos go to Death's Realm. They're going to peek into the Well of Infinity. There, they're going to get all the answers they need. Also, this is a very practical plot device, so we could get a retelling of Magus, of his origins. But what we discover is that when Adam Warlock obtained the Infinity Gauntlet, he purged all the good and evil out of him, and this led to the rebirth of Magus. And also sets up the other Infinity story, where they're going to have to deal with goodness. The thing is that Magus found his way to this alien reality. He's able to take it over with its inhabitants that, again, they look like they're from the Cancerverse. He creates the doppelgangers. Now he's making his move to take over the 616 reality. So then we cut back to Mr. Fantastic, who is informing the heroes of all these observations about the doppelgangers and that they are a tremendous threat. When out of nowhere, Wolverine arrives. He confronts Mr. Fantastic and tells everyone, look, he's not the real deal. He's been replaced by a doppelganger. This leads to a standoff for all the heroes present. We have Xavier actually going into his mind and saying, look, he seems to be the real deal. When all of a sudden Daredevil and his radar senses pick up something that's wrong. And we get this really sick moment where he throws one of his Bidley clubs at Mr. Fantastic. It seems that the doppelganger version of Reed Richards had set up this whole trap to get all our heroes in one place and set off a gamma bomb. Daredevil stops him in the nick of time, but this leads to a all-out war between all the heroes present. Now, this all-out battle goes on for just two or three pages. There's a bunch of tie-ins where we get into each one of the confrontations that we get here. But what ends up happening is that the evil Reed Richards sets off the Gamma Bomb. With all our heroes dead, there's going to be no one in the whole galaxy that's going to be able to stop Magus. That's where issue two ends. So we're going to finish this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.